Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to use a Diablo 2 bot for, you know, Diablo. Um, we're going to be using Edel because that's the easiest way to get into it. Um, and that's that's that. The first thing you want to do is come over to GitHub Project Edel and download the zip file to whatever drive you want that has your Diablo on it. I already have my Diablo installed. If you don't have your Diablo installed, you're going to need to install that first. Obviously, you kind of need the game. Um, and then you want to go to Pluggy. This is like a single player modding thing, but this is actually what I found to be the easiest way to get a rollback patch. You just extract it into the folder and bam, you have rollback. So as soon as those finish downloading, you want to open your file explorer and you want to go here and you want to extract all this one just extract to your drive which in my case is H and then for the patch here you want to extract it to the Diablo folder and then you just wait for that to complete it'll be a minute you know it takes a while if you have a faster computer or faster drives and stuff it'll be faster you do want to replace the files in the destination because that's like the whole thing you're replacing the files so you have a different patch so that the edel will work with the diablo because it'll be on the right um, it'll be on the right patch version because if it's not on the right patch version the edel won't work so obviously you have to have the right patch um, so those are almost done Oh, poop, I didn't mean to close that, but it's alright. Um, we're just gonna open a new one. Uh, maybe. There we go. We're just gonna open a new one, go to our drive, and wait for these things to finish. Um, they're just about done. Once they are, we'll be done with these two folders, but we can leave them there anyways. If you want to delete them, you can delete them. If you want to keep them, you can keep them. It really doesn't matter. It just matters that we unzip them. And then, once we get this to finish, still just waiting on that. The reason that mine is taking so long is because I'm using a USB drive, and those aren't as fast as internal hard drives. So yours will probably be a good bit faster. I'm also recording, so my CPU bandwidth is not exactly perfect. So we don't need that. We don't need that either. So we open this, and we go to game.exe. Oops. Select it. Click Create Shortcut. Where to put it? There, went to put it down there. So we right click on that properties. You click space hyphen W. You have to have the space in there, and you really do want the hyphen W. And then we should be able to double click this. You should open the game and say V1.13 right there. So that's that's worked so far. Um, and then we want to go here. Wait, actually, we want to go. We want to go here, and then we want to go into the game. We want to make sure that we have a character, and we want to make sure that we have a name. Okay, so we have Shockwave, and that's what we're going to use for this. Go to Edel Master, D2 Edel, and then come down to Edel Manager. You want to click Add. You want to make your profile name whatever you want. I'm going to make it Shockwave, because that's the name of the character I'm using. It doesn't have to be the name of the character you're using. We're doing single player, because Battle Nuts against the rules. I want to use that. I want to go to Normal because that shockwave is capable of playing in nightmare but we're not doing that just for this we want to select our game so i go here we want to go here and then we want to get click game we want to use that because we have to have our path and we want to click windowed mode and just make sure that's selected and we click ok actually no we want to edit that and select loader only and then we're going to click run and it loads up the game for us then we want to go to edit. Edit. No, oh, we want to stop the bot first. And then we want to change it to ntbot.ntj. Then click run. It'll open and load you into the game. But then it will just stand there and probably close the game. Alright, well, it's not going to close the game, but that's fine. So we close the game. We press stop. 
and then we wait for it to close there we go and then you want to go in the same folder in the d2weedle master d2weedle we go to scripts ntbot car configs and then we find the one with our character name these are all just basic classes and then this is has shockwave on the end because shockwave is the champion that we were using here is your config file you have absolutely tons of settings tons and tons and tons of settings it's crazy it's absolutely crazy and it's hard to wrap your head around especially when you're first starting out the easiest thing to do is come up here find this thing right here the nt config underscore script over on the right side it says this must be commented out and serves to protect prevent unconfigured characters from running you want to type slash slash so that comments it out and that allows your bot to run then for the easiest way to just start out you want to come down to act three scripts and delete these two right here and then we want to leave zero false false we would like to just kill, we want to kill Mephisto so we're gonna change that to true so now we have we're gonna control s to save that and now we have our what the what we're telling the bot to do but we still need to tell it how to attack so we want to scroll down a long ways past the cubing items past everything past gambling past all like the miscellaneous settings and we're almost there right here so we need to open go back to the file explorer and we need to go here and i believe it's here and then sdk and then skills and then we want to use blizzard I'm actually just going to use uh, Ice Blast for this example, which should be 45. Yep, 45. So we know that that's 45. I have 45 is Ice Blast. And then we come back to where we were. It'll, we want to open this again. Sorry. And then you want to change all of these to 45. Instead of negative 1, 45. If any of these are left at negative 1, your bot will not run properly. You can change all of them to 45 for your first like test session. Then they might have different numbers for different things. And we want to control S to save. Minimize this. Don't close it. Make sure it is saved though. So make sure you hit control S. You can close Google. You're done with that. Open your manager. Click it. Click run. And it should, if I've done everything correctly, should open run to act three and go to kill Mephisto we shall see that is currently it playing as you can see by it the mouse like freaking out everywhere it's not smooth mouse movements at all it's teleporting and it's gonna find Durio teleport over here and then it should start hitting it with the ice blast and boom it kills Durio or not Durio, Mephisto sorry It'll come to Ormus, sell some stuff, whatever, do its thing, and then it will close the game after it picks up everything. So now it's picking up everything, and that's about it. That is your starting. That's your, that's your starting bot. And then you can come here, and now that you've got your starting thing set up, you can just come through and change all of these settings change what you want it to do if you want it to kill Mephisto, Andariel, Duriel, Diablo, Bale, whoever you want it to kill, how you want them to kill it all these different settings for like public games um, if you want it to give waypoints to people here's your chicken settings which are kind of important and um, this percent of health you will close the game it's set at 30 percent by default I would suggest leaving it there it's just that's how it is you can change these things here is your inventory menu not menu really but you want to set this so if I want the bot to control a space I change it to one instead of zero and now the bot ch gets to control that space if I were going to go through a full setup of this bot I would leave all of them except one two and three here set to one because that would be my time portal and my key which the bot requires here's all the picking up stuff you do want to pick up stuff so 
you just leave this alone for the most part unless you really know what you're doing. And that is just about it to all to setting up your bot for the first time in in Edel. And then just to demonstrate one more time, we just click run. My hands are completely off of the mouse and keyboard. And it should simply open the game, run over, kill Mephisto using teleport and all of its abilities like frozen armor and whatever. And you can see the mouse just instantly moving, so it's it's clearly not me doing it. Um, and then it go there it goes off teleporting. And it does know where everything is, so even though you can't see the whole map, it knows where everything is. It goes over there and it shoots some stuff, and then bam, it's done it again. It'll kill him again. And you can change your item drops so that it'll pick up only the stuff that you want and not the stuff that you don't. And you can change all kinds of stuff, and now it is done. We can teleport over here, go to Act 4, and now we're in Act I am in manual control, by the way. Uh, and now we're in Act 4 boom it's done everything it wants to do and then we can save and exit and it should open it right back up if you let it go if you let the game take its course by itself it will uh, sell all the items and then go and restart the game itself and go again anyways that is about it thank you for watching that is how you set up your Edelbot